Hi, and thanks for joining me on this quick tour around the new and improved campaigns app. Let's start right away by creating a new campaign. I do this by clicking the plus sign right here on the overview page. Now this is new in campaigns. I could either choose to start with a brand new campaign or I'll create a new template or work from a pre-saved template. In this case, we'll start a new campaign. And that's when we arrive in the campaign builder. Now let's follow the steps and I'll fill in a campaign name. There we go. And right here, I can choose a channel. This is now set to SMS, but when I have multiple channels connected to my account, I can select other channels like WhatsApp, for example. And here I can pick my recipients. I've uploaded an address book earlier today, which I can select. And I'm also able to select multiple address books and contacts, by the way, if I would like. But in this case, we'll just work from here. And whenever I want to add some more recipients, I can just simply type them in here and add them like that. But let's leave it at this. All right, let's go to the next step. And by the way, notice that when I'm moving to the next stage, I can follow my progress up here. So right now we're going to create the actual message. Let's start by giving in a sender ID. This is the ID that the recipient will see as sender. And I'm going to create the message. All right, looks good. Now, notice that as soon as I start typing here, I can see my preview here on the right. And in this case, I would also like to personalize my message by using a merge tag, and I'm going to place that there. I've added the profile information in my address book, so when I select the first name merge tag, I can be sure that my message will be personalized. And I can see that in my preview screen when a random name in this case a random first name is shown in my preview screen and also new in campaigns is that i can preview my message based on the location of my recipients in this case i have recipients that are situated in the netherlands a few in belgium uk and south africa and also when i scroll through the geographical previews i can see that the first names corresponding to the region they actually change as you can see. Well, right here we also see a summary of my campaign in terms of recipients and costs, and I'm also able to test my message by using this button. Also, good to know that if you would like to save your work and return to it later, just hit that save button right there. Okay, let's move to the third stage, and I can select to either send my message right now or schedule it. Let's say we want to schedule this message. Then I can select a time zone right here. And these time zones are actually based on the location of the recipients in my list. So in this case, I see, I see uh, South Africa, the Netherlands, Belgium, UK. Doesn't really matter. Let's pick one. There we go. And I can select a date and a time right there. Looks good. I also have the option to send my campaign at once or send it out over a period of time by using the spread send functionality. Well, since my campaign now only consists out of a few messages, I'll just leave it at that and send it all at once. All right, only one more step to go. There we go. And in here, I can get a final overview of my campaign. Here's my summary and here's my message. And if all looks good, I'll just press send. And in this case, it says schedule. And off it goes. And that's it. There you go. Now it's up to you. Thanks for joining me and happy campaigning.